We have a whole lot of wind coming up over the next couple of days as a strong storm system moves across Colorado. Winter weather advisories till early Sunday morning for the mountains. Fire weather concerns down here in the pink. High wind warnings till noon on Sunday across all of north central Colorado. So what's going on with all of this? Well, let's start out with the jet stream winds. This area down here, this is a band we call it the jet stream core. Very strong winds aloft up at about 30,000 feet. And you can see how that core of that jet stream is quite strong as it comes through the area, perhaps even a little stronger to the south of us, but we're right on that northern edge of it. And what we have at the surface is a strong cold front that's moving across there. You see that curly Q right there, that's a deep low pressure system, and that's going to swing a lot of strong winds all the way around and across Colorado over the next couple of days. With that strong jet stream aloft, this is a cross section, and so the strong winds will come rocketing down through the foothills, and that's where some of the strongest ones will be. And sometimes they'll kind of bounce a little bit over the metro area and come back down to the ground a little bit uh, farther off to the east of us. So it gets a little bit gusty in between. Strong winds here, sometimes not as strong in the metro, and then stronger again the eastern plains, but it'll be very gusty. A lot of that jet stream energy comes down to the surface. In addition, mountains get a lot of snow because the moisture is squeezed out as it goes over the mountains. We just get lighter showers coming on the plains. The showers, a mix of rain and snow, not going to be enough to really bring down the fire danger because we won't see enough moisture on the plains. So we had to have the combination of dry, windy, certainly was hot on Friday. It's going to get cooler over the weekend, but that's what we call the fire triangle. And we'll have to be very careful on the plains through the weekend with the very strong winds. And something that's interesting with climate change, we're actually seeing a greater number of days on average in Colorado, especially that we're getting those high fire danger days. The winds certainly are there, but it's the fact that we're warmer and drier that's adding overall into a higher fire danger. For this weekend, main story batten down big winds through Sunday morning and then calmer conditions after that. Be ready.